Hello, it is 4 p.m. on Thursday, March 3rd, 2022, and I'm Captain Perry here with you in San Diego, California. If you're new here on this channel, my mission is to build a strong and watertight 14-foot mini cruiser. It features a scow bow and twin keels with a Jungstrom rig, which is where the mast spins to furl the sail. Before we begin, I just want to thank everybody who signed up for Patreon. I really appreciate that. If anyone else wants to join, the links are in the description. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the work I got done this week. Well, I'm starting out with a couple pieces from the scrap pile. And this is going to make the center section of frame C1. Let's see. I'm going to cut this diagonally. So these will go like this. That'll look pretty cool. For now I'm just going to glue these on with some plastic glue. We're getting closer. Here's a little dry fit so far. Okay, I've fiberglassed eight pieces for the bow. One of the pieces is over on the uh, workbench. That's three pieces in. Now I'm going to wait four hours and then do fillets and install the other five pieces. A lot of people have asked me for a test of the foam sandwich construction that I'm doing. As part of my project this week, I happen to have a circular cutout about this big. So I'll go ahead and show you a strength test I did with that. Right there. All right, it's holding my weight. I'm 160 pounds. Bouncing. There we go. Took some good bouncing and then it cracked. And that's just one layer of six ounce cloth on each side. The hull is going to be covered in 1708, one or more layers on both sides. So it's going to be even much stronger than this. But this took a lot of weight. And it's still really strong. The outside isn't breaking. It's nice. Now it's four hours later and I have the five additional pieces attached. So a total of eight pieces. This was such a complex structure. I probably shouldn't have tried to do this all in one day. I probably should have done half. But oh well, we got it done. I feel like it's a house of cards. I don't really want to touch it. Well, it's later now on the same day, and I've added some six ounce cloth on all the seams. And I haven't done the hull to these longitudinals yet. It's just too many pieces to do.
Well, I've prepared everything I need to cover all these fillets in the fiberglass mat. Got the peel ply rolled up here. All these rolls of fiberglass. And some chop strand mat. Some rope here we're going to be using. So I've just painted on some fairing filler here, about the consistency of a kind of runny yogurt. Well, I'm done with the structural grid in the bow. This is about all I can do until the chines and the sides go on. Then I can put on the rest of frame C1, which will go here and it'll have another hole. Uh, but I'm very pleased with the way this work turned out. Let's take a look. I finished sanding down the fairing I put on here and I love the way the rope inside here worked out. Makes a great rounded edge and very strong. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, coming up soon, uh, next I'm gonna be working on building frame C3 and that forward wall of the battery compartment that's gonna be mostly under the floor. If you'd like to support the project, please consider joining Patreon. The link's down in the description. And if you don't wanna do that, there's other things like an Amazon wish list or PayPal uh, donations. Or if you just wanna watch and leave a comment, I appreciate that too. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Mr. Bordell, let's make all preparations. We're getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's your name, buddy? Home. Home, get back to your station, or I'll have you shot from a mutineer. Well, shoot something!